Hi and welcome to Abby's Rope Reviews. This is the end of month for September. There are eight books this month, although I've only reviewed seven. That's because one of them was a reread, um, prepping, I suppose, for the second one. Um, but yeah, let's get started. First up, I'm going in any order, um, is Tarnished City by Vic James. This is the second in the Dark Gifts series. I know there's definitely three. I'm not sure if there's going to be more. Um, but oh my gosh, if you haven't read Gilded, Gilded Cage, go read it. Um, Tarnished City, so different, but so good. And obviously the similarity that is a follow on, but like different situation, um, twists and stuff. Oh my gosh, absolutely loved it. Cannot wait for the next one, which is like June. But yeah, I can, I can hold on. I think go read Gilded Cage and Tarnished City if you haven't. It's so, so good. Okay, next up is a little bit of a different one for me. It's Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This I got in an owl crate earlier in the year and I was just like, I will read it eventually. Um, but with the autumn bookish bingo that I'm doing, it fit in exactly for setting a school. Um, as there are bits of it in school and oh my gosh it is so good it's so different to a contemporary that I thought it would be um as I don't really do contemporary I'm more of a fantasy girl but oh my gosh if more contemporaries were like this I would like read all of them so it's um a girl who is a comic artist for an online comic keeping her online identity a secret and ends up liking a guy who like does kind of makes her comic book into more of a story um oh my gosh so much I don't know intrigue is the right word but oh my gosh like and teen love actually portrayed in a proper way what more do you want like you know insta love isn't a thing um it's all being not necessarily soppy, but shy and awkward. <laughs> it was so cute. Loved it. Another one that I would have probably picked this one up eventually, but I got it earlier than I probably would have done if I picked it up by myself because it also came in an owl crate earlier this year. It's The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. And oh my holy gosh. <laughs> so good. Um, gay men in... Victorian England going on their tour because the main character is basically a drunk at the age of 18. That's what Eaton does for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I loved it. I love it. Like, you hear about people going on tour um, back in the Victorian Georgian times. Might actually be Georgians, this is certain but so definitely against being gay, although you hear of so many in the aristocracy who were gay, um, but just kept it hidden. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, like totally got that era, but I'm loving all the adventure that happened within it, because I totally did not expect it. So good. The next one, A Lady's Guide to... Petticoats and Piracy is coming out next year. Cannot wait for it. Want to see more of Felicity. Ash and Quill is the third in the Great Library series. There is definitely five books coming. Totally did not know this before picking up the first two. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Ink and Bone and Paper and Fire are the first two. Third one, Ash and Quill by Rachel Kane. And oh my gosh, so good. It is more of a twist on this first two, um, ending up, well, starting off in Philadelphia and trying to get out of the Burner City while the librarians are outside trying to get in and destroy them, which, oh my gosh, like, I didn't think this series could get any more extreme. This shows you it can. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, <laughs> totally did not expect what happens in this and I cannot wait for the next two. So give me another two years and this series will 
be finished and I will hopefully have reviewed it all. Fireblood by Eddie Blake. This is the second in the Frostblood saga. There is definitely a third one called Dark Blood. I don't know if there's any more than that. Um, set pretty much after the end of Frostblood, maybe a month or two after. Um, but yeah, Ruby has helped Argus get the throne and is still only the only Fireblood at court. Um, obviously all the Frostbloods like despise her and it's about her kind of finding out about her heritage in a way, I suppose. Finding out about the truth about herself in a very big way. Like, oh my gosh, so good. There's some love in it. It's adventure as per usual with Ruby. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. Need the next one, like, now. But I don't have it. Because it's not out yet. But yeah, so good. Then my reread, which was Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. That is because I'm not discussing this one. I reviewed it last year, if you want to know. But that is because I got one Dark Throne, which is the second one in the series. And I decided right before I needed to read Three Dark Crowns and as I need to sit up my body for doing night shifts, I read Three Dark Crowns in one sitting overnight. Um, and then read One Dark Throne in a couple of days. It is so good. Um, really don't know what to say about it without spoiling anything. It's kind of straight after the events of Three Dark Crowns and Oh my gosh, is all I can say. <laughs> like, right before this came out, it was announced that it was going to a four book series instead of a duology. Um, I would say that's a little bit nice to put at the end. Like, it is wrapped up in a way that, like, the series could finish. But it's definitely left open enough that there is, there was the chance and now the definite of another two books. Um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it was, like, obviously if that had been announced sooner, then it could have been left, I suppose, a bit more open, but I need to know what happens next, and the prequel is coming out December, like, Boxing Day, I think it is, oh my gosh, like, I'm so excited for that, especially after reading this and finding out a little bit more about their past and how they were as kids, oh my gosh, so good. And I Darken by Kirsten White. This is a take on Dracula. From what I can tell, it's like a lady Dracula. Um, it is so good. And I wouldn't necessarily go into it thinking that it's like a lady Dracula because I've been a little bit confused by hearing that. Um, go into it for its own story. It is based on the historical figures at the time of Dracula. But yeah, she has done her research and her homework. It is so good. I love that it's on real historical people, but with a twist. And I am like over halfway through Now I Rise, which is the second one. And holy moly, I need the third one and it's not out till next year. I don't know what to do with myself in the meantime. They are so good and I need more merch for this. I haven't found any so far. So if you do merch, if you know of any merch, let me know. Um, yeah, I need candles, cushion covers, everything, bookmarks for this series. It is so good. Need more merch. Need more merch for like all of this. Like there's nothing for any of them. Um, but yeah, enough for me ranting about much. I think I have enough to last myself a lifetime. I got like 10 teas earlier <laughs> for different books. Um, yeah, I think I have a little bit of a merch obsession, but we're sticking with it and I don't care how much merch I have. Like, I need it all. I'm out of here. Enjoy the book you're reading and I will speak to you soon.